Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create custom field widget in custom model, okay? So in previous video, we saw about how to create a custom field type. So we created custom field type from our custom module and the field type name is custom field type. And we created that field in the article and that custom field contains a uh, length of the text uh, in a storage setting. Based on this value, we limited the size of the text in our database uh, structure. And uh, in field settings, in field settings, we created new field for more information about this field. So we gave value and we also saved this. And uh, in this video, what we are going to do is that we are going to create a new field widget for this uh, field type. And also we are going to use this um, field to show this as a help text to our custom field. And, and also we are going to create a, a widget setting form for our uh, new widget type, okay? So let's dive into the video. Before dive into video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so that you will get update from my channel daily. Let's move to our custom module here. We already created a, a field type folder in our custom model, right? Here we are going to create a new field. So field should be under field folder. That is field widget. So this is the structure to create a, a field type and field widget for the plugins. So SRC plugin field field type and field widget for a uh, widget file, okay? So under here, I'm going to create a new custom field widget, custom field widget dot PHP. Um, open PHP tab, class. Okay, so this uh, class is extent of widget base. So I have already all the classes here. So copy the widget base and the extend widget base here. Extends widget base. And as like how we uh, configured in the field type the annotation, here also we are going to do the same. So I'm copying the same and pasting it here. So, mm, yeah. So instead of field type here, you have to use field widget. And custom field widget it is widget. And this is custom field widget. Widget, okay, widget. And one more thing you have to mention here is that uh, the this, the category is not required here because uh, there is no categorization in your field widget and field type you have to mention. So this field widget is applicable for which field type that you have to configure here for the field type of which you created in the previous video. So it's array, you can add many if you want. So this is my field type. For this field type, I'm going to create a new field widget. And I add it. So next, what you have to do, you have to create a function called form element. That is the element uh, form which is going to print form in the node add or edit page. It's inherit doc. It's an inherited function. It's a function called a public uh, function form element form element open. Here you need to pass argument called items. The item is uh, this class name you have to include. So field item names item list interface this is for dollar items so items will contain the value actual value so when you add a field in your manage fields and you are giving cardinality uh, unlimited or two or three or many based on the delta value you can get the value inside it 
I will tell you when we write the code. And next is delta. Delta represent uh, zeroth value or one value or second value or third value. An array. So array is an element. So here only you are going to construct the element, form element. An array. Amazon dollar form. And as like I previously mentioned, you should have form state whenever you create any form. I'm going to add form state here. Form state interface dollar form state. Next, I'm going to create a element. I'm going to mention this as type of text field. And next, you have to mention a, a size of it if you want or max length or whatever you want, you can give. I am going to give one more attribute called here as a suffix. So what suffix is going to do with this? So in suffix, I am going to fetch the this more information data and I am going to print it in the suffix of your field. So suffix, let me print it in a span tag. So to get the uh, suffix, you have to suffix value, you have to call uh, distance to get field setting. Setting, open the value, the name of the field, it's a more info. This is the field, more info, copy and paste it here. Uh, when you pass, instead of uh, more info, if you put yes, and if you are not passing any argument, this will return all the value as array. I want only the more info specifically, so I am giving like this. Okay. And next, I am going to close this span tag. Come on. And uh, that's it. It's a text field and I'm going to return here, return. You have to mention value, stands to dollar element. Oh, we forget to put the default value, right? So we have to pass the default value here. Do hash default value. We have to pass the default value. To get the default value, you have to uh, get it from the items. So dollar value equal to, if there is a delta value for items, you have to check items of dollar delta stands to value. If this value is there, it will get the value from it or else we will pass empty there, okay? If this is there, else empty value, okay? So assign the value to the default value in the element, okay? So now we successfully created a form element. Once you created, uh, let me check it from, okay, we did it. We forget to add the namespace. Let's add the namespace here. Namespace Drupal slash custom, copy it from here. Instead of field type, you have to mention field widget. Widget, okay. So that's it. Now we successfully created a field widget and we added suffix of your more info information, okay. So next, what you have to do, you have to go to the site and clear the catchy. Now catchy cleared successfully. Go to your structure content type, article, manage form display. And scroll down to your custom field. So you can see here, it's custom field which it is automatically pre-populated, right? Here you, you can do one more thing. That is what, that is actually, uh, 
So here we created our custom field widget, right? So when you go here and when you see for published, you can see two options for product. You can see many options, right? So when you create a custom field and you, uh, or any field which is existing already, when, when it has more widget types, when you want to uh, give a default value for the widget. So I want to pre-populate whenever the user create this field, I want to pre-populate this custom field widget always when it have more than one widgets, okay? If you have scenario like that, you have to do one more thing. In this file, you have to mention default widget, default widget equal to the ID from here. This is the ID, copy and paste it here. So this will, uh, when the field is created with this ID, Automatically in manage form display, this default will, widget value will be pre-populated. Okay. Okay, let's go there and uh, scroll up your custom field. After image. Okay. So I'm going to save it now. Now we saved the field. So you can see it's here. Go to your content add article. This form you can see the field which we created here, right? So this is the field which we created, but we don't have title for here. So to add the title, you have to add one more thing here, element plus. So if you add like this, the element by default, it will have some uh, set of attributes. So those will be added to it. So title will be fetched from the parent. So once you added, I'm going to refresh here. You can see here, right now, custom field title is coming. And this is the uh, more information which we uh, fetched from that uh, settings. So under span tag, the more information is added, okay? So this is how you have to create a custom field widget. And we have one more option here. When you add a widget or when you enable a widget in the manage form display, here you have a settings, right? So let's see how to add it, okay? Where is our, this is our custom field. We are going to add settings here. First, you have to mention a function called the default widget. So default setting that is. Doc public function default has like how we passed storage setting field setting as like the same you have to mention the default settings here you have to pass the default value for your uh, settings value so i am going to create a placeholder folder default i am missing uh, default value okay default value so whenever you pass uh, default settings, you have to pass the parent default settings also. This will pass the uh, existing uh, settings default value if there is anything along with this. And next we created default and now we have to create a form. And the function name is, uh, so default settings function will be in static. Here, public function. It's setting it's form. Argument is array dollar form. Comma, form state. Here you have to create a element of the value placeholder and the type is text fill text field title 
hash of title. Title is what uh, it's a place folder text. And next, we have to mention a default value. To get a default value, you have to call a function called dollar. This stands to get setting of placeholder. Here we used field setting function. Here we are using the settings, just settings, okay? And if, can, if you want to make it required, you can make it written dollar element, okay? So now we successfully created a settings form. Go here and refresh. So custom field you can see here, right? Click on it. The default value is pre-populated. I'm going to give place hold text, okay? And update. Once you updated, you can see there is no summary. But when you see here, you can see what is the summary of the settings, right? To add that summary, you have to create a one more function called summary settings. So now we saved this. Go to your uh, website. Sorry, go to your file. At inherit doc. It's a public function settings summary summary about your settings. So dollar summary dollar summary equal to dollar this tends to t of placeholder the text colon I'm going to use a placeholder and comma array of placeholder will be replaced with dollar distance to get setting of placeholder. Okay. So semicolon written summary. So we successfully created a summary. Go to your website and refresh now. So here you can see now it's not replaced. Okay, it's come up. Okay, now go there and refresh. You can see here, right? The placeholder text is placeholder text which you gave inside. Okay, now we successfully created that. Next, you have to add it in the form element, right? Next. Ash of attributes equal to place holder placeholder text is this tends to get setting of placeholder copy it and paste it there okay so now we added the placeholder text now go to your create form and edit she's sorry reload you can see the placeholder right whatever you are configuring in the widget settings you can see here okay and that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye